What's up, Cal gang? All right, so we got this physics problem here. It wants us to find the mass of this copper pipe. Uh, and it's, it's like a hollow cylinder, I guess is how you would describe it. So it's got this outer radius and this inner radius, and it's got its length. And we know the density of copper by just looking it up. Uh, and it wants us to find the mass. So we know that density, oh, density is equal to mass divided by volume. So we're trying to find mass, so we can say mass is equal to density times volume. Perfect, all right, so we know the density. We need to find the volume. So let's find the volume. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Well, what we can think about this is we can find the volume of the whole cylinder, right? Imagine you get rid of the center part. You just find the volume of the whole cylinder, and then you're gonna subtract the volume of the inner, or the inner cylinder, and that's just gonna give you the volume of the cylinder without the center part, which is what we're looking for. So what this is gonna look like is it's gonna be volume is equal to volume outer minus volume inner. So we can say that volume outer. So we know that the volume of a cylinder is pi radius squared times the length. So it's gonna be, you know, pi radius um, length, or radius squared minus pi radius squared length. This is inner, this is outer. So let's plug in what we know, the numbers that we have. So volume is equal to pi. The radius of the outer is 0 0.35 centimeters, 35, 3.5 centimeters, which is gonna be 0 0.035 meters. We need it in meters, not centimeters. And then multiply it by the length, which is 1.5. And then we're gonna subtract the inner side. So it's gonna be pi times 0 0.025, because it's only 2.5 centimeters. Square this number, multiply it by 1.5, and you're gonna get that this number, sorry, is my answer, and is equal to, um, did I not find the mass? Oh, I did find the mass. 7.07 .07 times 10 to the negative four meters cubed. Perfect. All right, so we got this number. What we can do now is we can just plug it into our equation, right? Mass is equal to density times volume. So mass is equal to the density, eight, nine, six, zero, times the volume, 7.07 .07 times 10 to the negative four. And we're gonna get that. That number is equal to 6.33 kilograms. That seems about right. Yeah, that seems like a good number. Uh, so we have it in kilograms if you wanna multiply it, or if you wanna get it to Newtons, because sometimes it wants it in Newtons. Uh, what you do is force of gravity is equal to mass times acceleration. So force of gravity is in newtons, so V is equal to the mass, 6.33 kilograms, times the acceleration of Earth, 9.81, and you're just gonna get that it's equal to 62.1 newtons. So either of these are right, whatever one you choose, good with me. Uh, yeah, so good luck on your physics homework, guys. Stick around for some more problems if you're having trouble, because um, I'm just gonna keep working up from here until some more very difficult problems. Um, and if you just kind of watch my videos, try to figure things out, uh, you're going to do good. So yeah, good luck on your physics homework.